Full bike enduro. What do I think after a thousand kilometers on this bike? And I'm after having the Volt Bike Yukon 750 as well. So what do I think between both of them? Well, to be honest, if you have a Volt Bike Yukon 750, keep it. You're better off keeping it better than this one. Uh, this one goes through a little bit more parts. Um, I only had it a year, and I have 1,000 kilometers on it. I'll show you here in a second when it boots up. That's the trip I was on last. Uh, there we go, the odometer says 1,010 kilometers. So, um, I've done 1,010 kilometers on it so far, and I had to replace the rear cassette already. Um, reason being, it chewed up the gears. Um, where there's so much torque on this motor, um, this chain tears up the back gears pretty easy if you don't change it correctly. You have to be very careful when you're changing gears on this thing. It's a totally different beast than the Yukon 750. Um, Yukon 750 has a cadence sensor down here instead of a torque sensor. Um, cadence sensor, as the pedal goes around, the back wheel will kick in. And this foot here, bike here on the Enduro, is a torque sensor. So you have to put power into the bike to get power out of the bike. So you will work a lot harder on this bike than you will a Yukon. Um, that's two differences between the Yukons, the Yukon and the Enduro. Um, you can see this is the Enduro, the Volt bike. Uh, yeah, the biggest difference is you're going to work a lot harder on the Enduro, even though it's got more Newton meters of torque. People don't realize that uh, you will actually work harder. Yeah, because you have to put power into the bike to get power out of the bike. It's strange, but it's true. So that's my uh, little 1,000 kilometer thoughts on the bike. Uh, it's a nice bike. It's, uh, it handles really well. Uh, but, like I said, you're going to go through more parts than a hub drive motor. Um, but it can be a bit more fun. Um, depending on what you're doing, what kind of rotting you're doing. So uh, that's my thoughts on the both by Enduro and the Yukon between the two. If um, I were to pick one, I would pick the Enduro, or no, the Yukon, sorry, because it was a bit more effortless to use, uh, easier on parts, and it was just an all around bit better bike I found. So um, that's my review or 1,000 kilometer thoughts on the Enduro. So thank you.